Where the days are never ending Where the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shine and bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on Shine and bright, pushing through the storm and night. We'll be burning on and on and on. Hello, Libra. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 2nd of October until the 8th of October 2017. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The King of Cups. There would be a male significant figure in your life, most likely from water signs, who is emotionally balanced. He is a master of his own feelings, and remains in control of his emotions. Not to say that he represses those feelings and sentiments. He is a master of compassion and kindness and strong bonds in a relationship based on temperance and understanding. In general, you feel very emotionally balanced and in control. You have a very deep understanding of your feelings and emotions, and are able to connect with this when necessary. As you deal with some of the scenarios that life throws at you. Draw on this deep emotional maturity to help you navigate these challenges. Also, know that this is an incredible gift you have and be open to sharing your emotional stability and calm approach with others. If you are facing challenges, then the King of Cups is an indication that you must create balance in the realm of the emotions. The King of Cups represents compassion. One of the most powerful and beautiful qualities of the human spirit. Ask yourself, how can I develop a stronger awareness of the unconscious without being overwhelmed by its power? How can I develop a stronger sense of compassion without falling into the trap of sentimentality? The King of Cups encourages you to be considerate in your dealings with others and as you counsel others. You may need to understand why strong feelings have surfaced and how to best cope with them. It is important that you do not repress emotions but instead explore them with an open heart and an open mind. Sometimes, the King of Cups can represent an older male who may appear in your life. This card represents a man of business, law or divinity, who is kind, considerate and willing to take responsibility for his actions. He is paternalistic but in a sensitive, generous manner, and he enjoys the quiet power associated with providing loving energy to others. He is able to listen mindfully to others and he responds calmly in a crisis. He uses diplomacy rather than force, and reached out to help, not to stifle or have it only his way. Similarly, the King of Cups shows you generosity, graciousness, love calmness, caring and will give you his healing ways. He has power in the business world and loves law and order. You would love him to be your doctor. If there were a crisis at hand, this is someone you would hope to have near. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the six of pentacles. What do you want most right now is financial assistance from others or you may want to give some help to others around you. If you are the wealthy man, then you have accumulated great wealth and are now in a position where you can offer financial assistance to those in need. Now that you have lived through the darkness long enough to see the inner light, it is time to help others who are not so fortunate. Consider giving to charity or reaching out a helping hand to someone who needs your support. The generosity of the six does not limit itself to money and material things. 
giving of your time or your wisdom is often just as spiritually fulfilling as giving away money or gifts, and the intangible gift of your presence is received just as well, if not better. You may also be inclined to make a loan to someone, on the premise that they will eventually pay you back once they are back on their feet. This is a loan built on trust and good faith, knowing that if you give something away, it will come back to you. Remember, though, that this is more about a short-term fix and not a sustainable solution towards self-sufficiency. So, think about how you can financially support your family or friends in a way that encourages them to stand on their own two feet eventually. If you are the beggars in the Six of Pentacles, then you may be the recipient of someone else's charitable activities. This will help you to get back on your feet and to eventually repay the charitable organization or individual, either with your time or your restored wealth. You will also need to identify ways in which you can become more self-sufficient in the long run. The risk of accepting charity is that you become dependent on it and cannot look after yourself. Be mindful that you are not becoming submissive or noticeably desperate as a result of the charity that someone else is providing you. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Four of Wands. You are afraid of a lack of harmony or a breakdown in communication in your family or home. There may be tension between family members or loved ones and you are finding yourself getting caught up in other people's concerns and relationship problems. This may leave you feeling uncertain about your own relationships and what you can and cannot depend on. You may also be going through a period of transition in your family and home life and feeling some tension as a result. Similarly, you may find your home situation becomes increasingly unstable. There may be an external threat to the peace and happiness you once had in your home. You may be placed into a temporary situation which appeases your immediate concerns but does not yet solve the longer term issues. Depending on your living arrangements, it may be no better to move home for the time being to allow things to settle. You are going through a period of transition where there is little stability and security. You may be experiencing multiple changes in your life, such as changing jobs, moving house and or leaving a relationship. While you know that this is an important transition that you need to make, it can be quite unsettling, leaving you feeling out of balance and uncertain about your future. In a relationship reading, the Four of Wands reflects someone who may not be looking for a particularly long-term relationship but is willing to invest in it for the time being. There is a lack of commitment, or even a fear of commitment, which is preventing them from wanting a long-term relationship. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the Four of Cups. You are bored or dissatisfied with the status quo. You may be feeling disengaged, apathetic, or unmotivated. Life has become stale or flat and there is little that excites you anymore. To overcome this, the Four of Cups suggests a need to re-evaluate your situation and to look deep within your own psyche to find understanding and meaning. Turn your attention inward to find the truth for which you are searching. Avoid distractions and examine your heart and mind to gain clarity. There might be an offer has been presented to you but you are holding off making any sort of decision or evaluation of that opportunity until you have had more time for reflection and consideration. Notice that while the man in this card has not accepted the offer being presented to him, he has not completely rejected it either. The cup will continue to be there and the decision to accept or reject it can be made at any point. For now, though, it is the time for contemplation, research and meditation. When all of the answers are in, and it feels right emotionally, then you can take action but in the short term, you do not need to make an immediate choice. Similarly, the Four of Cups signifies disappointment in someone or in a situation. 
you may be growing tired of the same old struggle that has been carried on too long in the past. As a result, you have started to withdraw and go within yourself to seek greater peace and tranquility. If you are becoming particularly pouty or sulky about your predicament, the Four of Cups is then a call to action. It is time to wake up. Be alert and to be open to new experiences that offer a more positive outcome. The Four of Cups can sometimes point to defensiveness. This can be noticed in the body language displayed in the crossed arms and legs of the man on the card. He chooses to ignore the possibility of what the cup has to offer. Possibly he has been hurt emotionally before, as this is the suit of cups, and he is fearful to expose himself to that again, hence he is closing himself off to this opportunity. Consider what opportunities you are ignoring or declining, and ask yourself whether this is because you truly believe you would not benefit from it, or whether this is because you are fearful of what may follow. Be mindful of any defensiveness in your responses and reactions. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the two of swords. You are caught between a rock and a hard place and you are finding it incredibly difficult to make a decision about what to do. You are really struggling to see what the right choice is as either option will lead to negative consequences. Lay out the pros and cons of each option that is available to you and weigh up which option will have the most favorable outcome. The Two of Swords may also indicate mental confusion as a result of information overload. You are overwhelmed with other people's points of view and additional, detailed information about what options are available to you. At the end of the day, you are going to have to make a decision, so sift through the advice and the information that is available to select only the most relevant and helpful. You are feeling stuck in the middle of two competing sides. You may be trying to play the peacemaker role but in doing this you are just confusing yourself and creating more tension. For example, you may be trying to bring two conflicting family members together in the hope of a harmonious family environment but instead you are finding yourself being the messenger or the dumping ground for each of their concerns. Decide whether or not you truly do have a role to play and whether you can indeed create peace between the two opposing parties. Otherwise, get yourself out of there. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Ace of Pentacles. You may see new opportunities come your way to generate a new source of income or you may be lucky enough to receive a financial gift or windfall. On a broader level, this ace indicates abundance in all areas of your life and a general feeling that you are indeed blessed and deserving of everything that comes your way. Operate by the law of attraction, and send out positive energy into the universe so that you may receive abundance in return. The Ace of Pentacles is about manifestation of your goals, and that you are moving into a more positive state of mind about what you are capable of achieving. Your ideas are ready to be turned into something tangible. Figure out what will work and make it a reality. Thus, the Ace of Pentacles sees you starting to map out how exactly you will achieve your goals, by creating targeted action plans and getting those actions underway. There are opportunities that are becoming available to you that will help you to manifest your goals and realize your inner potential, whilst at the same time generate some level of income and financial support. You are beginning to see that the world is indeed your oyster and that through careful planning, you can manifest your true goals and desires. The Ace of Pentacles can suggest that you need to introduce something new into the equation rather than let things remain as they are, and hope they work themselves out, the Ace of Pentacles suggests you throw something new into the mix. Consider something that is out of character or something you might not ordinarily do, or get around to doing. For instance, you might consider joining a club, 
taking a class to learn new skills or maybe even picking up a couple of books to learn how to build a new business. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Mary Magdalene. You have a strong desire to share what you have learned. You may feel people will dismiss you or ridicule you, but don't worry, Mary Magdalene is here to guide you through this process. Your vulnerability is actually your greatest strength because you are trusting the power of your soul, and that part of you can never be broken. You are a wonderful teacher and leader and the world needs you. You are being backed by heaven, so step forwards and share all that you have learned. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.